Welcome to Just Stories, we hope you enjoy the story. The Lincoln County War, A Deadly Battle for Power and Justice in 1880-81 by Just Stories. Chapter 1, The Lincoln County Regulators. In the late 1800s, Lincoln County, New Mexico was a hotbed of tension and violence. On one side were the wealthy ranchers and businessmen who held most of the political power in the region. On the other were the small-time homesteaders, often of Mexican descent, who were struggling to eke out a living in a harsh and unforgiving land. Into this volatile mix stepped a group of young men who would become known as the Lincoln County Regulators. Led by figures like Billy the Kid, Jim French, and Dick Brewer, these vigilantes took it upon themselves to bring justice to the lawless land. The origins of the regulators can be traced back to a dispute between two factions vying for control of the lucrative dry goods business in Lincoln County. The first group was led by James Dolan, a wealthy businessman who had interests in a variety of enterprises. His rival was John Tunstall, a British immigrant who had come to the area to start his own store. Tunstall soon became a favorite of the small farmers and ranchers in the region who saw him as an ally against the powerful Dolan faction. He also took on a group of young men as employees and friends, including Dick Brewer, Billy the Kid, and Jim French. However, things took a deadly turn when Tunstall was killed by a group of men working for Dolan, including Sheriff William Brady. In response, the young men who had been associated with Tunstall decided to take matters into their own hands. Thus was born the Lincoln County Regulators, a loose band of vigilantes who set out to avenge Tunstall's death and bring justice to the region. They were not an official law enforcement group, but rather a collection of armed men who were willing to take the law into their own hands. The Regulators quickly gained a reputation for violence and lawlessness, but they also struck fear into the hearts of those who had previously held power in the region. They were known for their sharpshooting skills, their daring raids, and their unwavering loyalty to one another. In the months that followed, the Regulators engaged in a series of clashes with the Dolan faction and their allies. They robbed stagecoaches, burned down buildings, and engaged in shootouts with lawmen and hired guns. Despite their successes, however, the Regulators were eventually hunted down and defeated. Billy the Kid was captured and sentenced to death, and many of his comrades were killed or imprisoned. Yet their legacy lived on, as they became the stuff of legend in the American West. Billy the Kid in particular has remained an enduring figure in popular culture, a symbol of rebellion and justice against the forces of oppression. In the end, the Lincoln County Regulators were a product of their time and place, a group of young men who were willing to take extreme measures to bring about change in a society that they saw as corrupt and unjust. Though their methods were often brutal, their determination and courage have made them a lasting part of American folklore. Chapter 2 The Battle of Blazer's Mill the Battle of Blazer's Mill was one of the most significant clashes of the Lincoln County War, a deadly conflict that pitted rival factions against one another in the American West. On April 5, 1881, a posse of Lincoln County lawmen and ranchers engaged in a firefight with a group of vigilantes known as the Regulators, led by Billy the Kid and Jim French. The battle was the culmination of months of tension and violence in the region. The Regulators had been formed in response to the killing of John Tunstall, a rancher and businessman who was seen as an ally of the small-time farmers and ranchers in Lincoln County. Tunstall's death had sparked a wave of vigilante justice as the Regulators sought revenge against those they saw as responsible. Among the men targeted by the Regulators was Sheriff William Brady, who had been part of the posse that had killed Tunstall. In response, Governor Lew Wallace had sent a contingent of soldiers to the region to restore order and capture those responsible for the violence. On the morning of April 5th, a group of lawmen and ranchers, led by Deputy Sheriff James W. Bell, spotted a group of regulators near Blazer's Mill. A gunfight broke out, and the two sides exchanged fire for several hours. The regulators were outnumbered and outgunned, but they fought with incredible bravery and determination. Billy the Kid in particular was said to have shown remarkable skill and courage, dodging bullets and firing with deadly accuracy. In the end, the battle ended in a stalemate. Both sides suffered casualties, and the Regulators were forced to retreat into the hills. 
However, the battle marked a turning point in the conflict, as it became clear that the regulators were not going to be easily defeated. The Battle of Blazer's Mill also had significant implications for the wider American West. It was seen as a symbol of the lawlessness and violence that was rampant in the region, and it helped to cement the legend of Billy the Kid as a heroic outlaw fighting against the forces of oppression. Despite the violence and bloodshed, however, the battle also showcased the bravery and courage of the men who fought on both sides. It was a testament to the spirit of the American West, where men and women were willing to risk everything for their beliefs and their way of life. Chapter 3 The Killing of Sheriff Brady on April 1, 1881, Sheriff William Brady was gunned down in the streets of Lincoln, New Mexico. His assassination was a pivotal moment in the Lincoln County War, a violent conflict that had been raging for months between rival factions in the region. Brady was a controversial figure in Lincoln County, seen by some as a corrupt lawman who had aligned himself with the powerful Dolan faction. The Regulators, a group of vigilantes led by Billy the Kid and Jim French, had targeted Brady and other members of the Dolan faction for their role in the killing of John Tunstall, a rancher and businessman who had been a friend and ally of the Regulators. On the day of the killing, Brady was riding in a wagon with George Hindman, a prominent lawyer and ally of the Dolan faction. As they passed by the house of Dick Brewer, one of the leaders of the Regulators, shots rang out from the shadows. Brady was hit in the head and died instantly, while Hindman was badly wounded. The identity of the shooters was never definitively established, but the regulators were widely suspected of being behind the assassination. In the aftermath of the killing, tensions in Lincoln County reached a fever pitch. Governor Lew Wallace declared martial law and sent troops to the region to restore order, while the regulators went into hiding. The killing of Sheriff Brady also had broader implications for the Lincoln County War and the wider American West. It was seen as a symbol of the lawlessness and violence that had come to define the region, and it helped to cement the legend of Billy the Kid as a heroic outlaw fighting against the forces of oppression. Today, the assassination of Sheriff Brady remains a controversial and contentious event. Some see it as an act of vigilante justice, a necessary response to the corruption and brutality of the lawmen in Lincoln County. Others view it as a senseless act of violence, one that only served to escalate the conflict and lead to further bloodshed. Regardless of one's perspective, the killing of Sheriff Brady stands as a tragic reminder of the violence and lawlessness that characterized the American West in the late 1800s. It is a reminder that, even in a land of opportunity and freedom, justice and order can sometimes be hard to come by. Chapter 4. The Siege of McSween's House The Siege of McSween's House was the final showdown of the Lincoln County War, a bloody conflict that had pitted rival factions against one another in the American West. It was a dramatic and deadly event, one that would go down in history as a symbol of the lawlessness and violence that characterized the era. The siege took place in July 1881, several months after the assassination of Sheriff William Brady. The Regulators, led by Billy the Kid and Jim French, had taken refuge in the home of Alexander McSween, a lawyer and ally of their cause. They were surrounded by a posse of lawmen and soldiers who had been sent to Lincoln County by Governor Lew Wallace to restore order. The situation was tense and volatile, with both sides heavily armed and ready for a fight. The Regulators were determined to defend themselves and their cause, while the lawmen were equally determined to bring them to justice. For several days, the two sides engaged in a standoff, with occasional gunfire and skirmishes breaking out. The Regulators were running low on supplies, and their morale was beginning to wane. However, they remained committed to their cause, and were willing to fight to the death if necessary. On the morning of July 19th, the situation reached a boiling point. A group of soldiers under the command of Lieutenant George W. Pepin arrived on the scene, armed with a Gatling gun. They began firing on the house, hoping to force the Regulators to surrender. What followed was a chaotic and deadly scene. The Regulators fought back with everything they had, using rifles, pistols, and even a small cannon to hold off their attackers. The sound of gunfire and explosions filled the air as both sides took heavy casualties. In the end, the siege ended in a deadly inferno. 
The house was set on fire either by the regulators themselves or by the lawmen outside. The resulting blaze was intense and uncontrollable, consuming the building and killing several people inside, including Alexander McSween. The siege of McSween's house was a tragic and senseless event, one that marked the end of the Lincoln County War and the beginning of a new era in the American West. It was a reminder of the violence and lawlessness that characterized the region and a testament to the courage and determination of those who were willing to fight for their beliefs, no matter the cost. Today, the siege of McSween's house remains a poignant and powerful symbol of a bygone era, a time when justice and order were often hard to come by, and when men and women were forced to take extreme measures to defend their way of life. It is a reminder that the past is never truly gone, but rather lives on in the stories and legends that we tell about it. Chapter 5, The Legend of Billy the Kid Of all the figures to emerge from the Lincoln County War, none has captured the imagination of the American public quite like Billy the Kid. He has become an enduring icon of the American West, a symbol of rebellion and justice against the forces of oppression. The Kid, whose real name was William H. Bonney, was born in New York City in 1859. He spent much of his childhood moving around the country, eventually ending up in New Mexico, where he became involved in the Lincoln County War. As a member of the Regulators, the Kid gained a reputation as a fierce and daring fighter. He was known for his sharpshooting skills, his quick wit, and his unwavering loyalty to his comrades. However, the Kid's life was also marked by tragedy and violence. He was involved in several shootouts and clashes, including the Battle of Blazer's Mill and the Siege of McSween's House. He was also captured and imprisoned several times, and was sentenced to death for the murder of Sheriff William Brady. Despite these setbacks, the kid remained a legend in his own time. His daring escapes from custody, his charismatic personality, and his reputation as a Robin Hood figure who stole from the rich and gave to the poor, all contributed to his enduring legacy. In the decades since his death, the kid's legend has only grown. He has been the subject of countless books, movies, and TV shows, each adding to his already impressive mythos. He has been portrayed as a romantic hero, a tragic figure, and even a villain, depending on the storyteller and the era. However, the true story of Billy the Kid remains shrouded in mystery and controversy. There is much that we do not know about his life and his motivations, and much that has been lost to the mists of time. Yet, despite these uncertainties, the legend of Billy the Kid endures. It is a testament to the enduring appeal of the American West, a place where rugged individualism and frontier justice once held sway. It is a reminder of a time and a place that will never truly be forgotten, but will always live on in the stories we tell and the myths we create. Chapter 6 the aftermath of the gun war the lincoln county war came to an end in 1881 with the siege of mcsween's house and the death of alexander mcsween however the conflict left deep scars on the region and the people who lived there the aftermath of the gun war was a period of tumult and change as the region struggled to move past the violence and build a new future one of the most significant changes that came out of the gun war was the rise of the cattle industry in lincoln county Many of the wealthy ranchers who had been involved in the conflict used their power and resources to expand their cattle operations, taking advantage of the unsettled nature of the region to amass vast herds and wealth. However, this rise of the cattle industry also came at a cost. The small farmers and ranchers who had been allied with the regulators were often pushed out of the market, unable to compete with the powerful ranchers who controlled the industry. Many were forced to leave the region, seeking new opportunities elsewhere. The gun war also had significant political repercussions. Governor Lew Wallace, who had sent troops to the region to restore order, was widely criticized for his handling of the conflict. He was accused of taking sides with the powerful Dolan faction and failing to bring the regulators to justice. The conflict also helped to solidify the power of the Santa Fe Ring, a group of powerful businessmen and politicians who controlled much of the state's economy and politics. The Ring was seen by many as a corrupt and self-serving organization, one that had contributed to the violence and lawlessness in Lincoln County. In the years that followed, the legend of Billy the Kid continued to grow. 
Despite his violent and troubled life, he was seen by many as a heroic figure, a symbol of the fight for justice and freedom in the American West. His legacy inspired countless stories and legends, helping to cement his place in popular culture as a symbol of the frontier spirit. Today, the aftermath of the gun war remains an important part of the history and folklore of the American West. It is a reminder of the violence and lawlessness that characterized the region, and of the men and women who were willing to risk everything to defend their way of life. It is also a testament to the enduring power of the frontier spirit, a force that continues to inspire and captivate people around the world. Thank you for watching our video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So you don't miss out on our next story.